guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back at one of my special filming spot locations because guess what? We have a first time ever from that iconic German brand. What the heck is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is a 2024 Mercedes AMG EQE. But before we get into the first ever electrified vehicle to be a true AMG product, let's talk about what's going on here. Mercedes and AMG are like freaking peanut butter and jelly. When you hear those two names together, you know that you're gonna get that Mercedes luxury and style, but when you hear those three letters, AMG, you're gonna be getting tons of performance. Now, over the years, AMG has always been that signifier that when you're at the racetrack and you see the AMG on the race car, you know that that is getting the utmost in attention to engineering and to performance. Well, guess what? This, having the AMG badge, is a true AMG vehicle. This is not just a uh, trim or a bunch of emblems and decals. This is going to bring more performance over your standard EQE. Now, what I wanna find out though is, there's other German brands. We already know about Tesla. I don't wanna talk about Tesla. I'm sick about talking about Tesla. There's other German brands like BMW that are bringing electrified SUVs but also electrified performance SUVs. So what I wanna find out is, do you go AMG EQE or do you go BMW iXM60? A lot of letters, a lot of numbers. Let's go ahead, let's dive into our AMG EQE and find out. Right off the bat, the shape. So you're gonna get that design that when you see it, even though this is a full BEV, a battery electric vehicle, you know it's a Mercedes product. At the front of the business, you're gonna get full LED lighting, of course, LED projector beam headlights, daytime running lamps and turn singles, all nestled in a nice aerodynamic headlight housing. Working your way down, a little bit of gloss black, but the good news is you're getting functional corner air curtains. I just got a Zonk this fake vent design. Just keep it smooth. Smooth is the way to go. When you put these little details, that's when you lose me. But I like, they, get, they, they bring me back in when you have the functional corner air curtains. But definitely, the way that they shape everything here, it's for aerodynamic efficiency, plus it has that signature AMG style to it. Now when we come across the front Mercedes logo, Obviously, we don't need a grill, but I do like the way you have these vertical blacked out chrome slots here that give it a grill-esque design to it, forward-facing camera, and then like I said, this is a true AMG vehicle, working our way down, ginormous lower air intake opening, because remember, we have a liquid-cooled lithium-ion battery pack that we need to bring the air in, and you're gonna get that functionality and I really like the way Mercedes shapes this lower portion. It's aggressive, it's functional, and it looks damn good. Now, comparing this to the iX M60, to me, this is the cleaner design. Uh, I'm not really digging what BMW is doing with those two fake grill-looking things that look like a weird pig snout uh, or beaver nose or something like that. Uh, I, I prefer the EQE, especially this AMG EQE, over, uh, over the BMW style-wise. Now, as we rise up, look at that curve that you have. First of all, you got the LED lighting that comes all the way across. That goes without saying. But then you have a nice curve because they really cut down on the drag coefficient. So very low drag coefficient numbers. I'm liking how on all 2024s, no more Mercedes-Benz badge here. You get the AMG badge because, like I said, this is a real deal AMG vehicle. Now you are getting a little bit of a double bulge, a little bit, and that's a traditional shape to the hood that you find on a lot of Mercedes-Benz vehicles. So I like the way that Mercedes is really trying hard to bring the usual physical attributes that make it a Mercedes product, but of course they have to tweak it to be aerodynamic friendly to try to get as much range and performance out of this EQE. Now, when we come around the bend, 
Of course, we're gonna have some AMG forged aluminum wheels. Absolutely love these optional 21 inch wheels. Nice flat black finish, a little bit of machined aluminum around the outer edge, and then look what we have, the optional carbon ceramic brake rotors. Massive gold Brembo calipers up front. And when you see the gold on a Mercedes-Benz product, if it's factory gold color, not that somebody went to Target or Walmart and bought a can of spray paint and painted their calipers gold. If it's the real deal gold that you see here, that automatically tells you that these are carbon ceramic brake rotors. It is optional with that optional 21 inch wheel. I love the two piece rotor. The actual rotor itself is over 16 inches in diameter. And yes, you do have three different levels of regen braking with this vehicle. The EQE, the AMG EQE has dual motors. So you are gonna get that formatic, that all wheel drive performance, motor up front, motor out back. And we do also have the Michelin Pilot Sport EV tires. So this is an EV tire to cut down on rolling resistance, but it is a performance spec to give us a little bit of extra grip. 275 on the width, 40 series sidewall. I'm definitely digging the style of the wheel and that massive, it almost looks like a gold brick right from Fort Knox. Very nicely done. Now you do have adaptive performance air ride suspension, and this also does have rear wheel steer, nine degrees of rear wheel steer. But we'll talk about that as we work our way towards the rear. I love the way everything is painted all the way around the fender openings. But let me know what you think about this wheel and brake setup. Definitely more braking capability than what you're gonna get on an IX M60. Now coming down the side, simple little badge to let you know, 4Matic, all wheel drive, it's actually 4Matic Plus. Kind of weird where they put the EQE badge. This isn't really my favorite style, but at least it is dark chrome. You do have power folding mirrors, which obviously they are folded in right now because I have the vehicle locked. We do have 360 degree cameras, which are nice. Up top, you're gonna get a ginormous panoramic sunroof. And I like the way they black out the whole roof. That's how you do it. BMW usually likes to leave the body color at the back of the roof portion. Not really my style. You're also gonna have, and I'm gonna have Steven kinda swing around and just show you the beautiful flush mounted door handles. That gives it a nice aero cleanness. The dark chrome finish along the bottom. And then when you're looking at the rear, you're gonna notice that we have 275 squares. So the tires are 275 squared, all four corners. And this rear wheel and tire setup will turn up to nine degrees to really give you quicker steering through the twisties and also allow you to make a U-turn like you're a freaking champion. Working our way towards the rear, swinging around back. I do like the way it's got a long roof spoiler. The one zonk, of course, that I gotta give it is this, why? Why oh why can't we just tuck it? There's tons of real estate underneath that roof spoiler. Tuck that underneath there, but I like the way they did the black chrome badges. EQE, of course, we have our LED lighting. Even the way they blacked out the Mercedes star logo, AMG, like I said, this is a real AMG vehicle. And then working our way down, they did a pretty good job on the lower bumper area here. What I'm not liking is these things here. I don't know what the purpose of that. I, I hope they're not trying to make, a look, make it look like a fake exhaust. To me, it doesn't look like an exhaust, but to some it might. Let me know how you feel about that, if that should be zonked as well on both corners. But while we go ahead, let's see if we could pop the hood and talk about performance of this EQE AMG. All right, guys, I would love to open up the hood, but believe it or not, the EQS, which is the sedan, and the EQE, which is the SUV, both have hoods that are sealed shut. Only a mechanic at a Mercedes-Benz dealership has the tools to open this up. But let me go ahead and let's talk about what kind of performance we're looking at to see if, if you could judge if this is a true AMG vehicle. So you have two electric motors, 677 horsepower, 701 pound-feet of torque. It's got a 90.6 kilowatt hour battery pack, zero to 60 in three seconds, quarter mile is gonna zoom by at 11.5 seconds at 117 miles an hour, 
Top speed is 150 miles an hour. The vehicle weighs 5,851 pounds. Range, kind of low, 235 miles, but you can charge on a DC fast charger 100 miles of range in just 15 minutes. MPGEs equal 77 in the city, 71 on the highway. So nice to see the performance numbers for sure. I mean, zero to 60 in three seconds, but the quarter mile 11.5, quite respectable for a vehicle that weighs almost 6,000 pounds. But let me know how you feel about the performance and the charging of this thing. While you're doing that, let's turn it on and see it go. All right, guys, we are inside this 2024 Mercedes AMG EQE. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I've been wanting a performance SUV. I want to get an EV, but I've been holding out. I don't want a Tesla Model X. If I see another Tesla, I'm going to throw up on myself or I'm going to throw up on the Tesla that I see. But I am digging this AMG EQE. How much is it? Very good question. This, the way that it's optioned, it's optioned pretty good. You're looking at MSRP of $130,000. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. I love the use, the generous generous use of Alcantara. Light gray Alcantara up top with that red AMG stitching. You do have that bronze copper finished trim just to give a little extra color. The usual location for the seat controls, three memory seat settings, but the big zonk is you only get heated seats, no ventilated seats. That is a travesty in a $130,000 SUV. We do have the upgraded premium sound system with the aluminum speaker grill covers. I like the aluminum trim around the switch gear for the side windows. And then the door pocket is very generous. Easily two checkers, big Bufords, two checkers fries, and a strawberry shake to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, you got that beautiful ambient lighting that does flow into the door panel all 64 colors from Crayola, more of that red stitching, the light gray, the darker gray with the white contrast stitching. Love the aeronautical design of the AC vents. And then what you're gonna find is the new MBUX hyper screen technology. So you have a 12.3 inch screen for the passenger. You can change what's on the screen, but there has to be a passenger sitting in the seat to change the screen. This is not for the driver, this is for the passenger. As we flow in, I love the way they do the AC vents. They hit them very well up top. And then this is really the Colossus of the over 50 inches of OLED screen in here. That's a 17.7 inch infotainment system screen. I like the way it's got a nice concave curve to it. It has anti-scratch protection on it and anti-glare. I like the way you can see our little AMG EQE sitting there in the parking lot. And of course you have full touchscreen capability. You have your off-road modes, even though this is an EV, to show you if you're gonna take this off-road, you could raise and lower it because of the air ride suspension. You could go into your air quality, change that up. I go back to the home screen. We do have the performance page set up, energy flow, all the great information. There's the battery pack, the motors. Really cool how they show all of that. Of course, we'll be able to show horsepower and all those goodies. You even have temps of the front and rear motors. So they are bringing the instrumentation to a performance vehicle. And then we also have track pace when you're going to the racetrack. Really nice to have that technology to help you get faster lap times. I'm gonna throw it into reverse. There's our backup camera, clear as day. You could adjust these cameras. I mean, look at this. Circuit City didn't have as many cameras as this thing freaking has. All day long, piece of cake. We got our dual climate control all through the touchscreen. And then working our way down, somebody spilled a bucket of real carbon fiber, more Alcantara. You have enough room down here to where you could easily put a small race helmet, maybe a pair of your racing gloves, or a pair of racing shoes, USB-Cs. And then I like the bridge style. That gives, frees up a lot of room. 
you have your start stop button here. And if you don't want to touch the screen, you could actually touch this to get through all the adjustments on the screen. The leather material, bombs away. You have two USB-Cs and you have enough room in here to where easily you could fit a nice large bag of Cheetos. My advice is make sure somewhere you put a roll of paper towels because you know you're gonna get the cheesy fingers and you're not gonna sit there and lick them all day long. So when you touch the Alcantara, your Alcantara is gonna turn orange. So make sure you have some wipes and some paper towels after you're done eating your Cheetos. Seats, standard seat, not the sexiest. I wish this had more performance oriented seats. I'm sure they're an option. You could get your red stitching, your Alcantara. We already talked about how they are full electric assist. And of course, you gotta have the red seat belts for an additional five horsepower. Alcantara all over the headliner. And then we have that ginormous panoramic sunroof. Let the sun raise in. I'd rather go get a nice big glass or a whole bottle, which you could actually fit a whole bottle in here of Sunny D. That's how much room there is in here. And not, I'm not exaggerating one freaking bit. But why don't you get your butt over here? I got a flat bottom steering wheel I want to show you in this AMG EQE. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do get three memory seat settings for the driver's seat. I do love that very tasteful aluminum sill plate with the AMG logo that lights up at night. And then, of course, you're going to have a decent pedal box, aluminum brake pedal, aluminum throttle. I wish they would give us an aluminum dead pedal. The carpet just doesn't work for me. I do like the AMG embroidery on the floor mat, though. That's worth an extra five horsepower as well. Seats, they may not look super sporty and sexy, but they are quite comfortable. I do have to give it that. Steering wheel, this is my favorite. Alcantara on the side, leather up top and on the bottom with that flat bottom design. And I love the way you have these dials that you can make adjustments very easily to the performance of your AMG EQE. If you don't want to use the knob, you could do it through the screen as well. One thing I can't believe I forgot to show you is you do have storage underneath here. Two cup holders, two USB-Cs, wireless charging, a place for four German Twinkies, and then there is your AMG key fob, just like all the other brands. Well, I should say all the other models, AMG models, not the brands. Steering wheel, like I said, looks good horn button is not my favorite for some reason if you took off the mercedes logo i feel like this would look like one of those bumpers that are on the steering wheel of a bumper car so not really luxurious or very good looking to be honest with you but with that being said you do have metal paddles on the back of the wheel for your three different levels of regen braking and this is a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel and then you do get a 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster with all the important information there. And then I'm gonna have Steven come back over to the 17.7 inch screen because when you go into the different modes, you can see everything shows up very nicely. And like I said, you can use the touch screen, individual, there's snow mode, we're going full sport plus for sure. But nice to have that versatility and variety of ways of accessing things. But why don't we go ahead, let's get in the back seat because I'm very curious about what the on throttle is gonna feel like in this AMG. Let's go check All it out. Alright guys, back seat time and with this being a mid-size SUV, you're going to get a lot of room in here. Obviously, the floor is very low and it's totally flat because this is an EV. And then, what do we have for storage? So you have soft material on the back, I'm digging it, nice large pockets, get a couple books, maybe a book about Nikola Tesla or, uh, you know, Albert Einstein or Alexander Graham Bell, Samuel Morse, learn a little history. Because if you don't know where we've came from, how do you know where we're going? Think about that. AC vents on the back. I like that for the rear seat passengers. We got all the same great controls to toggle the temperature and everything. Uh, the only problem is you're not getting ventilated seats back here either. And that's a bummer at $130,000. Two USB-Cs, I like the way they light up blue LED. Plenty of room back here. I'm six feet tall, I had plenty of room up front, plenty of room in the back, ambient lighting in the door handles. And then we pull this guy down. I call it to a mild 
mild to medium on the softness because that's where they hide this little holder for your phone uh, and for the cups and everything. But flip it back, seats look just like they do up front with the red seat belts. Everybody gets a red seat belt. Too bad it's not an additional extra five horsepower per seat belt. It's only one seat belt that gets you the five horsepower. And then the other ones are just included. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the cargo area and see what we can haul in this AMG. All right guys, time to get in the cargo area. Very similar to another German brand, Volkswagen with the badge, how you get into the lift back area, you just take the Mercedes logo, push it in, and you're greeted to 14 cubic feet of space. Not a ton, but you do have a nice nook here for your German Twinkies, box of German Twinkies. The seats do fold down. So that's gonna go from 14 cubic feet of space to 55 cubic feet of space. The thing I don't like is that you have to reach in and put the seat down this way. I don't like that. But you can see how the seat is down. I wish the buttons or the handles were back here so you didn't have to reach in to put down the seats. But the seats do fold down, give you 55 cubic feet of space. You got your little goodie bag with all your charging accessories. No, you don't have to keep that up here. You can stuff it in this lower compartment. My advice is just fill this up with Twinkies. Because if you ever lose charge on the side of the road and you're waiting for a tow truck, you're gonna to wanna to have some nutrition so that you don't starve to death out there in the wild, wild west. But while we go ahead, if you're ready, I'm ready. They call this a performance SUV. See that right there? This right foot wants to find out really if it is a performance SUV. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go on throttle in this AMG EQE. All right, guys, we are inside this first time ever 2024 Mercedes AMG EQE. Right now I have it in comfort mode. So when you have it in comfort mode, obviously that's gonna soften the adaptive air ride suspension and really brings a nice quiet driving experience. Now getting to the massive 17.7 inch screen, of course is well within reach. And then you also have the ability to have a passenger sit and actually have their own screen and they could bring up whatever they want to navigation different displays the whole shabam steering wheel feels fantastic as it should you got a ginormous head up display and these seats are very comfortable and supportive and you don't have to worry about a ton of bolstering which i think most people are going to be happy with but very easy access, short reach. It's got all the usual icons that you're familiar with. And it's very fast reacting, which I like. Now remember, the paddles behind the wheel adjust how much regen braking there is. Mercedes calls it recuperation. And as you can see, it says strong, normal, or no recuperation. So you have the choice to go through how much recuperation that you want. We have our knobs where we could adjust and immediately go into our different modes, or you could set up individual and go through the infotainment system screen. When you are in Sport Plus mode, you are gonna get these simulated engine sounds, even though there isn't an engine because this is an electric vehicle. Visibility out the front is great. Out the rear, amazing. Of course, you have all the Mercedes-Benz safety features, which they were one of the first companies to develop all these safety features. And you have comfortable room for five adults in here and all that cargo space. But the digital gauge cluster, very easy to read. The OLED is so clear, it's gonna blow your mind. But uh, we're gonna show what the on-throttle experience is in this vehicle hear the sounds on throttle here we go so it really gets the power down quite good because of the dual electric motors and the all-wheel drive going into this right hand bend is awesome because of the rear wheel steer i mean look at this it turns on a dime and then it just puts you back in the seat 
I don't know how I feel about the fake noises. It's a little video game-ish for me, but with the sound system, you are getting that 3D audio Dolby sound, which is super clear. So that's the good news about that. Ambient lighting, it's crazy how you could see it during the day. At night, it's even more so intense and really provides a unique driving experience. And really, uh, it's, it's, it's smooth and it's easy to drive. I think it's a good enough size to where you're gonna feel comfortable. I mean, even driving in traffic with the rear wheel steer, it makes child's play of tight traffic situations. And then to get out of your way or get out of somebody else's way, uh, you got plenty of power. I mean, 677 horsepower, over 700 pound-feet of torque in this SUV. Very respectable. But I do like the way that uh, they do a good job trying to get that AMG DNA into this vehicle. And like I said, with the regen braking, we're on strong recuperation right now and I'm still able to modulate the brake pedal very very well you do have launch control which I can't wait to showcase that for you because it really does add to the intensity of the driving experience on throttle here we go it's like you look down at the speedometer and you're like wow look at how fast that thing is spinning around it's actually quite ridiculous those massive carbon ceramic brake rotors feel really, really good, allow you to shed a ton of speed super quickly. On throttle, here we go. And right now I have it on no recuperation. That way I could take advantage of those carbon ceramic brake rotors up front and really modulate the brake pedal very well the brakes are super powerful and even the, though this thing weighs almost six thousand pounds it does a good job of shedding speed just like a german shepherd sheds hair but all the materials the alcantara the carbon fiber all the connectivity and they do a hell of a job there is no glare on my screens in front of me they do a great job with that anti-glare finish and anti-scratch finish. But being behind the wheel of this car really allows you to have a unique driving experience because of the power, because of the performance. And if you gotta have that Mercedes AMG name, this is your opportunity. I do like the way it looks and the way that it drives more than a BMW iX M60. I feel like this just has better handling capability and of course things like the launch control and all the other goodies in here really allow you to, uh, to be able to have this performance SUV that's just mind blowing. It really, really is. The cabin is quiet, except for the simulated sounds. And if you take it out, of Sport Plus, then you're good to go. You could actually adjust it. If you want more of a balanced sound, you could do that. So that's the good news is you don't have to have that sound, but I'm gonna leave it on just to make this video a little bit more interesting on an audio level, just so that you could have the experience of what it's like behind the wheel of this thing. Are you ready? On throttle, here we go look at it i mean you just gotta be with these vehicles they accelerate so fast you really gotta have your vision far up the road because things are gonna come up ultra quick with that adaptive air ride suspension you're not getting a lot of body roll which is nice look at this here we go rear wheel steer and those summer performance tires keep you planted they really, really do. I really like just how tossable this vehicle is, even though it's large and even though it's heavy. You're still getting great feedback through the wheel 
and obviously the performance of the two electric motors is just flat out ridiculous. Another thing is, is the comfort in here. I mean, the, the usual Mercedes-Benz amenities and all the finishes. Oh, it's, wow, here we go, look at this. It's like a freaking cruise missile. <laughs> it's, it's flat out ridiculous just how fast this thing accelerates. People really need to be sent to different driving schools when they purchase a vehicle like this because you have no clue. Unless you've been behind the wheel of something fast, you have no clue just how this thing is gonna hit so hard when you accelerate. I'm actually gonna use launch control. Nobody's behind us. It's real simple. Left foot on the brake, right foot down, race start, release! Ah! <laughs> Oh my God, the seat tightens down and you're locked and loaded like a freaking person being launched out of a freaking cannon. That's what you feel. You feel like a cannonball as you're accelerating with the launch control. But with the dual motors and the all-wheel drive, man, oh man, the performance of this thing is just mind-blowing. But I'm hoping that this has been a good overall review of what this AMG EQE is bringing to the table. We're gonna get back to where it all started and wrap this one up. So I'll see you in a split all second. Right guys, another great day here in Tampa Bay on Rady's Rides. I definitely gotta thank the whole Mercedes AMG team for letting us have access to this press fleet vehicle, this 2024 EQE AMG. Let me know what you think though. Is this the performance SUV that you would buy over a BMW iX M60? Hell, even over a Tesla Model X Plaid? Let me know down in that comment section. But if you're new to the channel, you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. Of course, we need to give it up. Stephen Flood, Stephen Flood Photography. He's working the camera like a champ. He's got it charged up just like this EQE. Show him some love in the comment section. Thank you, Stephen, for all that you're doing. Just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.